Well, I can tell some of my Savannah boys have come up to liven up this event tonight. <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, thanks so much uh, to Jim McClendon and the terrific Hall of Fame staff who put on this annual event in such a first-class manner uh, every every year. And uh, congratulations also to uh, the other honorees tonight. Uh, as you can tell, I've been at Georgia for a long time, and I have recently started to get asked. I got asked a couple of times tonight during this reception. Well, exactly when did you get to Georgia? And so I was started responding on a couple of occasions by saying that uh, I am part of a little known Georgia trivia question. Who was the third part of the package deal with Dominique Wilkins and Herschel Walker? It was, it was me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Uh, an occasion like this, you uh, begin to think about all the things you're thankful for, the people and, and the things and experiences you've had. And uh, certainly I'm, first of all, grateful uh, to my wife, Kathy, and a family uh, that has been uh, so understanding of sometimes the long hours and uh, time away from home. And they've been tremendously supportive and uh, made sacrifices uh, over the course of time that uh, have allowed me to uh, have the uh, career that, that I've enjoyed. Uh, Coach Johnson might be the only one of a couple of people in this room tonight that will remember the name of my first boss is Georgia Southern. But Rick Mandy gave me my first job and uh, really taught me uh, the ropes uh, of the public relations and media relations profession. And of course, I'm forever indebted to uh, Vince Dooley, who brought me to Georgia. And uh, what a, a first class individual, uh, great boss, uh, great leader, coach, and uh, administrator. And I'm, I'm forever uh, indebted to him, as well as the athletic directors who followed him, Damon Evans, Greg McGarrett, and now Josh Brooks, who decided to keep me on, let me stay. Um, you know, the opportunity at Georgia allowed me uh, to work on a, a national stage. Uh, I was able to uh, work with some of the greatest uh, coaches, athletes, and administrators in the history of intercollegiate athletics. And you've seen a couple of them up here already tonight. And uh, I also would say it's, it's great to see uh, former Georgia coaches uh, Hugh Durham, Andy Landers, and Lewis Ganey in the house tonight uh, because they are, are part of that group as well. And, and I'll also mention a uh, longtime friend, uh, uh, former national champion baseball coach Steve Weber, who uh, was inducted uh, posthumously into this uh, organization last year. And I also uh, give a shout out to uh, Lauren Smith, whose name has been mentioned a few times already, but he amazes me uh, more and more every day. And the opportunity to work with uh, media all across the country, national media, national writers like our own Hall of Famer, uh, Tony Barnhart, uh, and of course all the media throughout the state of, of Georgia on a daily basis. Um, you know, if you ask any successful coach, uh, what has been uh, what have been the things that made you successful? And most of the time, the first thing you're going to get is uh, had great players. And then close behind that, you're going to have, uh, you're going to hear, I have great assistant coaches and support staff. And I can relate so well to those two things because I have been so blessed for my entire career with the greatest group of full-time staff members, graduate assistants, undergraduate students. And uh, with that, I'll mention uh, uh, Athletic Director from Georgia Southern, Jared Binko, and a longtime uh, Georgia Administrator, Glada Horvath, who's here tonight. Uh, they were two of them. Uh, but they came to work every day and just did amazing things, just remarkable work time after time. And they honestly uh, are the ones responsible uh, for most of the time making me look good, and I'm certainly grateful. Um, 
You know, most of the honorees tonight have been recognized probably in other ways, in uh, other places, by other organizations. But I can tell you that to be honored by this organization in your home state is really something special. So thanks again to the Hall of Fame and go dogs.